Hi, welcome to Danielle Klee SLP. My name is Danielle and today we'll be speaking about orofacial myofunctional disorders and orofacial myofunctional therapy. So the first thing we need to talk about at the start of this conversation is oral rest tongue posture and correct swallowing. So I'll demonstrate what's correct and then we'll talk about what's disordered and how myofunctional therapy can help. So correct oral rest tongue posture. We have the tip of the tongue on the alveolar ridge. We have the posterior two thirds of the tongue on the hard palate. The teeth are either touching or slightly apart and the lips are closed. This is correct oral rest tongue posture. It's what you should be doing when you're watching TV, when you're sitting in a lecture, when you're sitting on an airplane not talking to anyone. It's where the tongue should be at all times and ultimately where the tongue is, you know, when you're hanging out right before you swallow. It gives you great positioning um, for swallowing when you aren't speaking. So I'll demonstrate. I naturally swallowed. It just made me want to swallow because it was in the right place. So now I'll show you what a typical swallow looks like. So this is the alveolar ridge. Um, it's lined with rugae, which are rough. We want the tip of the tongue um, on the alveolar ridge, not pressing against the teeth, but pressing up kind of like this. I'll show patients. And then the posterior two thirds of the tongue press against the hard palate. The teeth are, are usually bite down, the lips are together, and you swallow. I'll go ahead and show you. The tongue has a vertical movement versus um, an anterior one. It moves in a wave, but I like to use the term vertical. That's a more helpful cue I find for patients. Um, so let me show you. So you'll notice there was no recruitment. I wasn't tensing any of the muscles of my mouth or my eyes. I looked really relaxed, and the only way you could tell that I was swallowing was looking down here at my throat. Okay, so in contrast, what is an orofacial myofunctional disorder? So kiddos that have, and adults, I was diagnosed as an adult, that have an OMD do not demonstrate what I just demonstrated for you. In contrast, um, they're oftentimes mouth breathers. The tip of the tongue will be on the low teeth. Sometimes these individuals actually go around with low oral rest tongue posture with their lips sealed, so they may look like this. Or you'll see kind of the Napoleon Dynamite. And I tell a lot of kids that he's a great example of someone with a myofunctional disorder. You notice that he has forward head posture to keep his airway open, his tongue is down, and he's mouth breathing. What's interesting is to see the muscles that are recruited when these individuals swallow. So when these individuals swallow, you'll notice um, then instead of the tongue tip being here and the tongue placing vertical pressure on the roof of the mouth, the tongue will actually anterior, anteriorly thrust forward. In addition to the tongue thrusting forward, you'll notice an over recruitment of the muscles of the mouth and the face. So it might look like this. If you look in the, the teeth of these individuals, you'll see too that their dentition matched these abnormal swallowing patterns. So here, we have a kiddo with an anterior open bite. Let me show you. Whew. There's a perfect hole for the tongue to go through. And that was me when I was a patient. I had that hole. I had the tongue thruster hole between my teeth. Um, what does myofunctional therapy seek to remediate? Myofunctional therapy seeks to remediate these improper uh, positions of the lips, the, the mouth um, and the tongue and the jaw during swallowing. It seeks to get the tongue in the correct posture when a patient is out and about in their day. We call that oral rest tongue posture. And it also seeks to remediate the placement of the tongue when an individual is swallowing. So it's really important because we swallow 500 to 1,000 times a day. And if the tongue isn't in the right place and it's putting pressure on something like the teeth, it can have a major impact on the development of a child's teeth, their face, and even their airway. Um, there's been research that's been done to show that kiddos who are mouth breathers actually have more long and narrow faces, and other research coming out of Stanford Sleep Medicine has shown that this long, narrow face can result in a higher incidence um, of a more occluded or closed airway, so a narrower um, airway for a patient to breathe through. So I am so passionate about working with people of all ages with this disorder. You work with children, it can be life-changing. I have seen, both in myself as a patient and patients I've worked with, 
And um, we've seen anterior open bites close when you remove the input of the tongue thrusting forward a thousand times a day. Um, with patients who are adults, and um, interestingly, I've worked with patients who've been under um, significant, you know, all kinds of dental work that they're having done and have maybe chewed only on one side and they've seen muscular facial balancing. Um, it's helped patients with chronic TMD pain and has even supported patients with obstructive sleep apnea. Of course, there are studies to document this. I have other videos and um, peer-reviewed articles posted to my website or links to them. Um, it's not within my scope to treat TMD or to treat obstructive sleep apnea, but it's not uncommon for me to see patients who also exhibit symptoms. Um, of these other disorders. And so I get really excited about getting to be a part of an interdisciplinary team where we're treating the whole patient. Um, and a lot of times the work that we do here for myofunctional therapy can serve and support symptoms that a patient may be seeing in these other areas. So, so glad that you guys could join me. If you have questions, you can feel free to leave them below or you can go to my website, Danielle Klee SLP for more information. Um, I've also got an Instagram, Danielle Klee SLP, where you can get weekly tips and insights um, if you're an Instagram user. So thanks again and have a great day.